Okay. No, I he actually didn't work site. on this project. It was done by another guy in the another another guy in the office. Okay. Used to handle Johnson's work before I took it over. I may have been too busy on something else at the time. But anyway, this was a sculpture and it was supposed to be exposed form. And you saw the drawing that uh, my associate did. You had the copy of that drawing that yep. we did a shop drawing exactly how to build the thing. Build it and uh, and then we came, then we formed it all okay, very carefully, meticulously formed it, the bevel at the top, everything was perfect, and we came to, we came to the afternoon to pour it. It took two concrete trucks to pour this thing. The first truck arrived, and it poured maybe around there, yeah, poured around that side, and then the second concrete truck broke down on its way from Stanford, and Genovese who supplied you all your concrete, was not about to fill up another truck before they cleaned out the last one. And they refused to get another truck up here that afternoon. And that's what the problem is. So the thing went overnight, unfinished. And the next day they show up with a truck as if that was gonna do us a lot of good. And that is what you have. You have the first pour and the second day you have the second pour didn't realize it was overnight. We thought it was the same day. Yeah, like a couple hours. No, unfortunately it, unfortunately, it was late in the day they did the first, and, the, and they refused to get the second truck up here. We would have done it at night. We were, everybody was standing around having a fit. And you couldn't reach them in those days. People didn't have cell phones. They couldn't talk to the truck. It was, you know, communications were very different then than they are now. And, and Genevieve said, well, we didn't know the truck didn't get there. How do we know? So, so the next morning they did the second pour, that's and this thing has never never been right. I used to come up here in the, in the early days. I used to meet Philip Johnson on Saturday mornings. He used to work five days a week, and I meet him on Saturday mornings instead of Friday mornings, like the later years when he worked four days a week. And I used to, and when, I remember coming up here once, and uh, and I brought you know, and it was on a Saturday. My wife always liked Philip Johnson. He said, "Some of your clients, you go up and see them on a Saturday. They keep you all day." Philip Johnson, he goes up and he says, one hour, that's it, and he comes home. So I came up here and just to have a little more time, I brought my daughter up and she spent the whole time climbing in and out of this thing. Up in and running around inside and climbing back out and climbing back in. Johnson was so pleased. I mean, somebody was using this sculpture and having fun with this sculpture. They were actually having fun with it. Yeah, he loved visiting kids. I've heard so many stories. He loved with, to see what the kids would do. The, so that playful it, side of him. She just loved to climb in and out of it. This is a challenge. To climb up over the top, to get inside, to get herself back up and out. Now, after the fiasco of the poor, um, I mean, you said that he was, Johnson was usually pretty unfazed by any of this stuff. Was he bothered by that or? I, he, again, he never said anything to me, but I, I actually wasn't the one that did it. Whether he did or not, I, I doubt it. I mean, we've had yeah. some, there's nothing is, nothing is, uh, there's always a little wrinkle. There's always something that could have been done better in the, when you're mm -hmm. dealing with a lot of different individuals and you're running a construction job and you're not doing something that anybody's done before. But this was just a, classic fiasco where the second truck didn't never showed. Well, we have that coal joint forever now. It's part of our tour. It's part of your tour. <laughs> well, it's unfortunately it's part Although of the Although we do sculpture. we do plan to repair the mm -hmm. the um, pieces that have eroded. And, although we've got some greenery growing out of one. Everybody likes that. Uh, we would have had to chop it up and do it again. But again, he was more anxious to get it done. So we just Dead.